Physics lecture number nine, adding diagonal vectors. If one vector is horizontal and another is vertical, the vectors are perpendicular to each other. To add perpendicular vectors, you can place the tail of the vertical vector at the head of the horizontal vector. Then you draw a line from the tail of the horizontal vector to the head of the vertical vector to get the resultant vector. You end up with a right triangle allowing you to use trigonometry to find the hypotenuse and the angle. So here's our example. Here's a horizontal vector. Here's a vertical vector. We take and move this vector over so that the tail of the vertical vector is at the head of the first vector. And that's what we've done right here. Afterward, you draw a line from the tail of the first vector to the head of the second vector, and you get something that looks like this. And now we have a right triangle. We can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the uh, hypotenuse here. And then to find this angle, we can use the tangent function. But what if we had to add two vectors that were not horizontal and vertical? How would we add two diagonal vectors? So if we were to add this vector and ve this vector, how would you do it? Um, Roughly, I mean, you draw the first vector, and then you take this vector and put the tail of it at the head of the first, like that. And then what you have, you draw a line from the tail of the first to the head of the second, and there's your vector, like that. So that's how you would add two diagonal vectors by drawing. We can add diagonal vectors by resolving them into their vertical y and horizontal x components. Uh, we add up the vertical components to get yt, the total y, or the total vertical components. Uh, we add up the horizontal components to get xt, uh, t being the total horizontal components. So we now have perpendicular vectors yt and xt, which can be added to find the resultant. A dog walks 28 meters from its home in a direction 56 degrees north of west. The dog walks 12 meters in a direction 75 uh, uh, degrees south of east. Find the magnitude and direction of the dog's displacement. Okay, so here's a rough picture of what's going on. Uh, our dog starts here and then walks 28 meters in a northwest direction. And then the dog stops and walks 12 meters in a southwest direction, 75 degrees or southeast direction. Whoops south of east. Let's see. Yeah. Like that. Okay. You draw a line from the tail of the first to the head of the second. And there's your resultant. So what we want to do is mathematically, we want to find this resultant length and we want to find this angle here, the direction. So here's how we do it. Um, We'll sketch each vector uh, with its tail at the origin of a graph and then resolve them into x and y components. So we'll start with the uh, first vector. So the first vector was uh, this one, 28 meters in a direction 50 degrees, 6 degrees north of west. So here's what 28 meters in a direction 56 degrees north of west looks like. Okay, so the first vector, 28 meters, 56 degrees to the north of west looks like that. And what you do is you inscribe a line like this to make this the hypotenuse of a right triangle. So, if we do that, we have the vertical component of our, uh, of our first vector, and we'll call it y1, the first uh, vector. And then this part right here, this is the horizontal component of our uh, first vector, and we'll call this horizontal component x1. So we need to solve for y1 and x1. When it walks 28 meters in this direction, how far up is it going and how far across is it going? All right, well, to solve for y, uh, we can use the sine function. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So sine of 56 is going to be the opposite, y1, over the hypotenuse, 28. So sine of 56 is 0 0.8290. And then to solve for y1, you would multiply both sides by 28. If you do that, you'll get y1 equals 23.2120. Notice I wrote up. I'm giving the direction of 
our vector. So it's going upward at that rate. Okay, to find the horizontal component of this vector, we can use the cosine function. Cosine function is going to be the adjacent side, the side next to the angle, over the hypotenuse. So cosine 56 is going to be x1 over the hypotenuse, 28. Cosine 56 is 0.5591. And then to solve for uh, x1, you would multiply both sides by 28. If you do that, you get 15.6548 to the left. Or instead of writing to the left, you write negative. 15.6548. Now if your horizontal component points to the left, like this one does, you have to make it negative. All right? So we have to pay attention to signs on uh, these uh, problems. All right? So anyway, if it points to the left horizontally, you make it negative. If it points to the right, you would make it positive. So the uh, next vector, 12 meters under direction, 75 um, 12 meters in direction 75 degrees south of east. So now we're going to do this vector right here. So 12 meters in a direction 75 degrees south of east looks like this. All right. So this vector is 75 degrees to the south or below the east axis. All right. So here's east, here's south. Here's east, here's to the south of east, 75 degrees to the south of east, and it's 12 meters long. So that's the direction and path the dog takes on the second part of its journey. Well, once again, we're going to try to solve for the x and y components. Um, so let's solve for the y components. We can use the sine function to solve for y. Sine is opposite over uh, the hypotenuse. So sine 75 is going to be y2 over 12 opposite y2 over hypotenuse 12. So the sine of 75 is 0.9659. And then if you solve for y2 by multiplying both sides by 12, you'll get y is negative 11.5908. So notice I wrote it as negative 0.5908. That's because y is pointing down. So if the vertical component points down, it has to be negative, all right? So if your y direction is downward, you have to make this negative. All right, let's solve for the cosine, or let's solve for x2. Uh, again, we can use the cosine function. This side is adjacent to the angle, so cosine of 75 is the adjacent side, x2, over the hypotenuse, 12. Cosine 75 is 0.2588, and then to solve for x2, you would multiply both sides by 12. If you do that, you get x2 equals 3.1056. You notice I'm taking it a whole bunch of places past the decimal. I like to do that, and then in the final step, I'll round the answer. So when I'm generating numbers in between, I just write a whole bunch of numbers. All right, so we now have the uh, x and y components of the second vector, and we're going to take the x and y components of the first vector, all right, so we need to take x and y components of the first vector and the x and y components of the second vector. And what we're going to do is we're going to add up the x and y components. Now the total sum of the y components, yt, is y1 plus y2. The total sum of the x components, xt, is x1 plus x2. So to find the new y component, we take y1, which is 23.2120, and add it to the y component of the second uh, vector, negative 11.5908, and we get yt is 11.6212. And this is a positive number, so that tells us that uh, the resultant vector is going to be pointing upward. All right, well, let's do it for the x component now. xt is going to be x1, negative 15.6548, plus x2, 3.1056. If we add these together, we get negative 12.5492. So our resultant vector uh, horizontally will point to the left. See, that's what the negative sign means. It tells you what direction um, it's pointing. All right, well, we can now determine a new vector by adding uh, yt and xt as vectors. So using that as our y value and that as our x value, we're going to draw 
a new vector. So just to sketch out how we're going to do it, the new vector is going to have a y coordinate of positive 11. So positive is going to be up here. And then a negative component of negative 12. So it's going to go out negative 12 here. So this is going to be, you know, 11.62 here. And this is going to be negative 12.54 here. So that is where it ends. And then our resultant is going to be like that. So our resultant is going to be like this. And then we're going to find this angle right here. All right, so this is our new vector. So we need to solve for r, and we need to solve for this angle. So this picture right here, I'm going to show you redrawn on the next page a lot neater. And it looks like this. Okay, so y total is 11.62. x total is negative 12.5492. We draw our vectors, so that's what this coordinate, you know, right here is. Good points. Oops. You have to do the x one first. It's going to be negative 12.54, and uh, this is going to be 11.62. Okay, so that's what this point is right here. That tells us our uh, new vector. All right, well, <clears throat> to solve for r, we just use the Pythagorean theorem. r squared is going to be equal to x squared plus y squared. r squared is negative 12.5492 squared plus 11.6212 squared. And then square these, you get that. Square that, you get that. Add these together, you get that. Take the square root of both sides. R is going to be 17.01036, or rounded to two significant digits, 17 meters of displacement. So R, this thing right here, is 17 meters. We need to find the direction. We need to find this angle right here. Well, we can use the tangent function. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So the tangent of theta is going to be 11.62 divided by 12.54. Notice I just wrote it as positive 12.54. We just take the absolute value. All right, so 11.6212 divided by 12.5492 is 0 0.9260. So to find this angle, you take the inverse tangent of that. On my calculator, inverse tangent is done this way, 0.9260 and then second function tangent, and you get 42.799. Rounded to two significant digits, it's 43 degrees. And 43 degrees in what direction? Well, this vector is north of or above the west axis, so it's 43 degrees north of west, or 43 degrees above the west axis. So, this is our final answer. The dog ends up 17 meters away from its original location, and it walked finally in a direction 43 degrees north of west. So let me show you a picture of sort of the general path it took. All right, so 17 meters and 43 degrees. All right, so that's this part right here. This is what the dog finally did. So here's what happened. Our dog walked. 28 meters in this direction. It then took a turn and walked 12 meters in this direction and stopped here. And then the resultant vector is this one right here. Okay, so this is ultimately how far the dog ultimately walked and it walked in a direction. It ended up 43 degrees above the west axis, or 43 degrees north of west. All right, so that's what it all looks like. Okay, so that's how you uh, resolve this vector and this vector into x and y components. You use trigonometry to find the new triangle, and that's where you end up. So and that's basically how you do it. For a PDF transcript of this lecture, go to www.richardlouis.com. This has been physics lecture number 9, adding diagonal vectors.